So yesterday, Bernie Sanders proposed an amendment supported by 72% of the American people. And the idea behind it is let's import Canadian drugs because it would save the American people a colossal amount of money. So we pay more for our health care than every other modern nation and we get worse outcomes. We pay more for our uh, pharmaceutical drugs than every other modern nation. So Bernie's like, hey, that's not cool. Some people can't afford their medication. Let's fix it. What a dick Bernie is. Um, so let me show you this chart here that he tweeted out. It'll give some information on this. So an EpiPen in the U.S. costs $620. In Canada, $290. Crestor for high cholesterol. 730 in the US, 160 in Canada. Look at these. That's such a gigantic difference, man. It's unbelievable. They're just price gouging the shit out of us. Uh, Premarin for estrogen therapy, 421 in the US, just $84 in Canada. Abilify for depression, 2600 in the US, only 436 in Canada. Zetia for high cholesterol, 840 in the U.S., 183 in Canada. Nexium for heartburn, 736 in the U.S., 214 uh, in Canada. Synthroid for hypothyroidism, 101 in the U.S., $50 in Canada. Genuvia for diabetes, about $1,000 in the U.S., 255 in Canada. Celebrex for arthritis, 895 in the U.S., just 212 in Canada. Uh, Advair for asthma. 980 in the US, $212 in Canada. So, now, he's not, this isn't one of those things where it's like, oh, if you do this, Bernie, you're going to have a lot of uh, good Americans lose jobs. That's not true. So, most of the drugs that are in Canada are actually from US pharmaceutical companies. So, how the fuck is it that they pay less than we pay? That doesn't make any sense, right? Same companies, but we pay way more, they pay way less. So we give them the drugs, and then they sell them for cheaper. Here, the pharmaceutical companies sell the drugs, and they're just way more expensive. The reason is, they are legally allowed, they have a board that is legally allowed to negotiate for the best price with the companies. Here in the U.S., under Republican administrations and Democratic administrations, they, they don't allow Medicare, for example, to negotiate drug prices. So whatever the pharmaceutical companies say, you pay. That's mental. <laughs> that is mental. So they fuck you over. They rip you off. The numbers prove it. We know they're price gouging us. So this idea is so simple. Oh, okay. You want to rip us off? No problem. How about we import the drugs from Canada and we get them cheaper? So who? Okay. Who the fuck can be against this? You ready for the result of the vote? The Senate voted it down 52 to 46. Get this, with 12 Republicans voting in favor of the amendment on Bernie Sanders' side, and 13 Democrats voting against it. By the way, some of the Republicans who voted on the right side of this, and these are people who I, I never give credit to, but they deserve it here. Ted Cruz, Ted, I unironically say, thank you, good job. I, I don't think I've ever agreed with Ted Cruz before. This is one where I do. And John McCain did the right thing here. John McCain, I've agreed with a few more times. Like, he's did staunchly anti-torture, and he's given good speeches about that. Um, and actually, uh, I'm not sure on this one. I saw it on Twitter earlier, but I had looked through the list last night, and I didn't see the name on the list. So maybe I missed it, or maybe the person on Twitter was wrong. But Rand Paul, apparently, too, I think, voted, uh, voted on Bernie's side with this. So, and that would make sense with his more libertarian philosophy because he believes in totally open trade borders. Now, I don't agree with open trade borders for everything, of course not. But I do believe in it if it means saving lives because we're ha getting medications so much cheaper that people can't afford if we just get them from here and with our drug companies ripping us off. Okay, so, now you're probably thinking, sweet Jesus, which Democrats were against it? Well, for that, we go to The Intercept, and they explain here. Cory Booker and some of his Democratic colleagues who oppose the Sanders Amendment are longtime friends of the drug industry. As MapLite data shows, Booker has received more pharmaceutical manufacturing cash over the past six years than any other Democratic senator. You ready for how much money he's gotten? $267,338. In addition, significant numbers of pharmaceutical and biotech firms reside in Booker's home state of New Jersey. 
Other Democrats receiving six-figure donations from the industry, like Casey, Patty Murray, and Michael Bennett, oppose the amendment too. <sighs> there were fawning headlines about Cory Booker this week, because Cory Booker decided to break a non-tradition that's a Senate tradition of not uh, testifying against another senator if that senator is picked to be attorney general. Jeff Sessions was picked to be attorney general. Jeff Sessions is one of the most right-wing, crazy uh, senators we have in the country. And Cory Booker said, you know what? I'm actually going to testify against him. So Cory Booker did that and all these different sites. Oh my God, progressive lion. What a hero. Oh, he's standing up against bad guys like Jeff Sessions. He's such a fighter for the people. Oh my God, isn't he so great? Oh my God, uh, uh, let, me, let me blow you, Cory. Eh, eh, eh. Um, well, it was a day after he did that, that he did this. Now, thankfully, we have a lot of people now who pay more attention to politics. In part, you thank Bernie Sanders for that because he got so many people interested in it. And now we have Twitter, so we're all way more connected. So news got out about Corey voting with the pharmaceutical companies to fuck over the American people. And so people were started going after him on Twitter. Started going after him. What the fuck are you doing? What's wrong with you, you scumbag? You fucking cretin? What's the matter with you? So what did he do? Pharmaceutical industry talking point. The grossest, most obvious dodge and deflection of all time. You know what his counter argument is? No, 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 no. You guys misunderstood. It's not that I voted against it because I'm against cheaper drugs for Americans and, or because I'm against importing drugs. I'm totally for that. I mean, I voted against it, but I'm totally for it. The reason I was against it is because we, we tried to make it meet FDA standards because FDA standards are great, but there, wasn't, there was no provision to allow it to meet FDA standards. So we don't want unregulated drugs that are like going to kill you coming into this country. We care about safety first. Safety first. We care so much about safety. That's why we did it. <sighs> hey, jackass, how stupid do you think we are? Canada has even stricter regulatory bodies than we do. Furthermore, these drugs, most of them, are made in the United States. So, that is just a dodge. That's just a lie to cover up the fact that you are a puppet for the pharmaceutical industry. I just told you the amount of- he took nearly $300,000, and they say... That's just from, um, oh, I'm sorry, MapLite data shows, yes, about $300,000 over the past six years. That's more than any other Democrat! So he's the number one recipient of pharmaceutical uh, industry money, and he does their bidding. And then he is trying to pull the wool over your eyes and lie to you and say, no, it's not because I'm corrupt and I've been bought by the industry and I'm doing favors for them because, hey, they scratch my back so I scratch theirs. It's because of the FDA and we gotta make sure the drugs are safe. Really? Name me the specific regulations in Canada that are lacking that have you concerned. You can't do it because there are none. There are none. They have stricter regulations than we do. Of course fucking Canadian drugs are safe. Of course they are. What the fuck? Seriously, what do you think? Like, are you really think we're that stupid? Seriously? It's not like we're... We're importing drugs from the Congo. Like, what? What an asshole, man. Uh, Corey, you're done, son. He wants to run in 2020. Step the fuck aside. Step the fuck aside. We're not interested in your garbage. You are the ultimate corporate sellout neoliberal Democrat. And he always does the, like, the, the language of, well, you know... I'd like to get together with the other side, and bipartisan minds need to prevail, and this is the language of somebody who doesn't give a fuck about progressive priorities. This is somebody who doesn't care about getting single payer, single payer, Cory Booker, pff, fuck that, he probably, not even, if he was president, he probably wouldn't even sign a bill if it passed for single payer. This is a guy who's not interested in getting money out of politics, he swims in the cash. This is, he's the anti-Bernie Sanders, that's what he is, and he thinks he's gonna be your president. <laughs> oh, Corey, quit politics and get a job at a Denny's, you loathsome cretin.
It ain't the old days, son. We can see through your bullshit. We can see through it. We know you're not fighting for the American people. So these are the kind of corporate Democrats that I have no interest in. Guys, Cory Booker is so bad, he might, he might even be worse than Hillary. He makes Obama look like Noam Chomsky. That's how bad Cory Booker is. So you can thank him and these other Democratic senators for fucking you over to the point where now many uh, people are not going to be able to afford their medication and maybe they die. So thank you, Cory Booker. How the fuck do you sleep at night? How do you sleep at night, you sick, disgusting human being?